the worst thing you could do when you're trying to create something is right to be like, well, it's almost six o'clock or, you know, it's time to get out. And it's like, oh, there's, these things don't, you know, they, they can. And there's not, you also you can be professional and just get it done like a job, but it's so much more, you can get way more explorative when there's no clock out time. Hey, I'm Carla Geneve, and I'm here at Happy Mag to talk about my shiny new album. It's called Hertz, H-E-R-T-Z. Sounds like one word spelled, yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's not a pun really. It relates to like, like I have bipolar disorder, which has been like something that you sort out during your life and stuff like that. But this album is like a big, probably part of me, like figuring out what that means and like seeing it also you know, play out in other people's lives around me. The way that the album is shaped and like the way that the songs are put together and the way they like line up sort of in a narrative form and also in like a musical sense is to sort of reflect like one cycle of like a mood that I would go through or that anyone would go through. Well, I guess for this record, the songs have been around for quite a while. I would have started writing them in maybe 2020. And then a lot of it was also written during lockdown, touring since I was sort of 18, like we were talking about before, but it was actually really interesting for me in terms of like writing the music aspect to this record because I had time to sit down and actually figure out, spend more time on like how music works and spend more time being more explorative with sort of how I was writing chords. And I feel like my last record was very focused on lyrics and music was kind of secondary almost. I just had so much fun just sitting and playing guitar like all day. My housemates and I would just watch House Hunters and I would just play guitar and it was awesome. And it got pretty boring. <laughs> Let's talk about bills. Yeah. yeah, this is like when you come home and you turn on Rage and a clip comes on and you're like, what is this? How do I not know this? You know? See, yeah. We played a show on the Sunshine Coast and someone from the crowd came up and they were like, what? did I watch? Like, they, like, there's such a visceral reaction. And I was like, we worked with Connor Mercury, who's a, a director out of Adelaide. He did a really great job, which I know I'm very, very, I love it. It sort of started out with me being like, I just don't want to be in it. I don't know, I just, like, it's not that like, I couldn't be bothered or anything, but I was like, I'd rather like some, something a bit more interesting than just me sort of like miming the song. Like this is an opportunity to make like a short film effectively and I feel like it's also like it's engaging to see an artist like doing that as well and I'm like I oh, will be doing it again but I was like let's just do something different. We came up with the idea um, but I was also like I would love to just see what you do like I'm not a director you are like have fun with it you know like let's let's make it happen. Anyway we love it. Good. Yay! Yeah. That makes me happy. Yeah. Uh, well, thanks for coming to chat to us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, Jason <laughs> did such a good job. They had like a vomit machine yeah. and I think he ended up like swallowing like quite a lot of it. So they were like, he was suffering, but he took it like a champ.